Bullying is something when uh, someone does repeatedly or intentionally to uh, hurt someone's feelings or harm someone else. You know what, with, with kids it's, it's kind of uh, immaturity. It's uh, many times kids are, you know, they're unsure of themselves, get some attention. They need to bully others and um, that'll get the attention of the other kids and, and the school administrators. They have domestic problems at home and they have issues at home that they bring to the school. And we need to address those in the school because we obviously have many uh, resources in the school to help kids with it. Even though it may seem difficult, you know, when you're when you're in a school and you're being bullied, you really need to let an adult know, let your teacher know, let your principal know, gym teacher, any school security officer or the police know in the school about that you're being bullied, and we will take over from that. You know, that's kids come to school to learn. Okay, we go, we don't come to school to fight. We don't come to school to start problems. And bullying disrupts the educational process in schools. Uh, there's been many times that I've even, even had to arrest kids for bullying and when they do it over and over again. The kids have a boyfriend or girlfriend in the school, you know what, and they break up with them, you know, and they, 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 they have other kids, you know, become friends, you know, harass their friends. You know, they, it's called like a third party thing. So I don't know if you ever heard of cyberbullying, when someone gets on MySpace or Facebook or they, there's a thing called sexting, when people write to each other on their phones and they say sexual, sexual things. That's, that's actually harassment and bullying because many kids don't perceive it as like funny and uh, a wanting thing. They feel that it's bullying and harassment. That's actually against the law. And when kids are bullied in the halls and they're harassed, many kids don't come to school anymore. We've had many kids kill themselves, commit suicide because kids when they're at that age, they really don't know what to do. You know what, they go home, they're scared to tell their parents. Uh, sometimes they're scared to tell teachers. So they take it to their own, they've taken their lives from that. So that's why bullying really needs to be addressed on a one-on-one -on -one basis whenever we see it as adults. And if you as a student see someone being bullied, the best thing to do is to tell an adult, even in confidence, say, you, you don't have to get involved directly, but you really should always tell a teacher or an adult in a building that you know someone's being bullied and you know, and, and, and you really don't want to see that happen. And many students also, they can feel guilty if they don't step in and really help out that ch other child. Report systems and more adults.